Hello gamers, it's Softkitty99 in the Minecraft Creative Builds world and I'd like to continue with building our little town. We're back at the town square today and I think that this town is a little bit lacking in the shop variety. So I thought I'd like to build a shop right here off the town square on this big corner here. And I think it might be nice to build a flower shop there's a little bit lacking in things that you can put inside a shop um, I think with the uh, things that we've got in the game so I think a flower shop would be a really good choice so I'd like to build it on this corner and flower shops tend to have really big windows at the front so let's see let's use these materials sandstone sandstone slab sandstone stair red sandstone stair red sandstone block that's a lot of sandstone chiseled sandstone cut sandstone glass and glass pane so these are the clear glass panes i'd like to begin with the sandstone block and i want to put in one of those big corner windows i think at the front so I want it to be set back a little bit from the corner. So if we count three, one, two, three diagonally and pop a sandstone block there. So you've got two diagonals left blank. And then put diagonally the blocks across this corner here. We should have five in a row. So one, two, three, four, five. And that's going to be our corner window. So we'll extend these slabs into this space later on because I haven't got them in my action bar right now. Then at either side of this window, I want to extend the window a little bit further. So one, two, three, and then we'll put in a wall up at that side there. And then we'll come to the other side and extend it by three. So one, two, three, and then we'll put in the wall here. Now on this side, I'd like to go nine more blocks after the window. So starting with these two I've put in for wall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we are going to have to... Wherever I build, I always find trees. There are so many trees. I love the trees, but they're quite often in my way. We're going to have to remove some of these trees, I think. So let's knock out the trunks so they can be disintegrating while we're building. And then if we come to the other side, this one's going to be slightly more complicated because I want the door for the customers to come into off the town square. So we're going to put that on this side. So we've got the window there, then we've got the two blocks of wall, then I want to put in the door. So I want it to be a nice big glass open door so I want four blocks wide for where the door is going to be and then we want to go a little bit further after that so I want this length of this side to be 11 in total so if we start with the block just after the window one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and then we just take it across and join the two ends up. So I'll just extend that a little bit and then extend this one a little bit so we can see where the two are going to meet up and we'll see if we need to remove any more trees while we're going. Uh, yeah, I think this one's going to have to go too. quite close here to the meeting the two up. So that's the basic layout of our building. So that's what we've got. We've got a big rectangle on the ground with a nice little shaped corner out right at the front. If you want to grab your glass blocks, obviously we can't use panes on the angled window at the front here. So if you put the window all the way around the side like so, up to the markers we've placed, and then I want the window to be four 
in height. So that's one, two, three, four. And then bring all of those blocks up to the same height all the way around. So we have our great big open glass window right at the front of the shop. That great big angled window is quite traditional for corner shops and very often the corner shop is a flower shop. And then we go back to our sandstone and we raise these two block wide up to the same height as the glass and then put a row of the sandstone blocks all the way across the window so that our whole thing is framed by the sandstone blocks and then bring up the two wide pillar at the other side of the window and then if you step back that is our big open window at the front of our shop and I think it's beautiful then we're going to have the door here so I want to raise up two blocks at the side of that and go all the way across here and I think we're going to make that one block lower for the door. So the door is three blocks tall and the window is four blocks tall. We're going to put in a big glass door here so we'll need the inside wall first. On this edge here I would like to put a small room across here with stairs leading to the upstairs so we're not going to want a window in the rest of this end wall because we're not wanting the customers to look inside and see the stairs and maybe a small stock room and, and uh, it'll all look a little bit weird to them but on the other side here we would like some windows because it's looking out onto the front of the street and it is going to still be part of the shop So if we join the wall top to bottom on the corners here like so then we decide where we're going to put the windows and exactly how tall we're going to want them to be. I think they want to be a little bit less tall than the shop front one so I think what we'll do is we'll make the windows too tall so we'll leave the two block gap now. I want the windows to be one wide I think so if we do it that way then we'll have two at that so we can fit in three windows that's going to look good and now this time we can actually use the glass pane because we're not using an angled window so use the clear glass pane to fill those in now that looks very very boring so I want a little bit of detail now if we grab the red sandstone slab I just want to put little sills in above and below the windows and I'd also like to hmm, that's not going to work under the bottom of here but I think it would work quite nicely on the top if we try and put the sill in in the bottom of the window this great big open window here it's just not going to look good and I want to extend the top there one block past the edge of the window like so I think that looks rather nice now where we're going to put in our door I'd like to grab the red sandstone stairs and pop in the stairs in the correct orientation just up above the door and right at the corner I want to turn it like so so that is what we've got there like that beautiful I like that very much so this is what we have so far So we have two more walls here to fill in. So if we go back to the sandstone blocks and bring this up and across so that you've got your full rectangular structure sorted for the build. Is that the right height? No, I think I've gone too high up there. Right, one too high. 
And then bring this across here. Filling one row on each of the sides to make sure that the building looks like it's supported on all the corners. I then want a door here to the outside at the back of the shop. So if we form a little frame going around it like so and then we put in a second row just here. I also want the stairs here going up to the next floor so I think if we fill in two more at both sides here then we can have a two wide gap and we can then put in a wall across here for where the stairs are going to be. Once we can decide where the stairs are going to be then we'll know where the windows can be without them interfering with the stairs going up to the next floor. I think I'd like to use the san red sandstone stairs so that it's very clear where the stairs are. I want there to be at least two blocks leading up to the top floor here so that you've got space to be standing. So I'd like the staircase to start here. So that gives us a starting place for where we want the stairs. Actually, let's make that three because I do want to go up one more for that layer. You, you'll see what I mean in a minute. So if we put the stairs in here, then we can start with the rotating the stairs here like so. Which, oh, got a little bit too close. Oops, that's upside down stairs behind. Right way upstairs at the front and then we can bring the staircase down to the floor make sure that we've got enough space for it all to fit in quite nicely and then we can build the other windows and things around it and then we won't be saying oh no I've put the windows in the wrong place and the stairs are in front of it and it all looks horrible and that would make us kind of sad right okay, if we can can we fit in yeah, yeah. Oh, no that didn't go right way. so what's the last a little difficult to put the last ones in. Right, that's perfect. Now we know where the staircase is going to be and we can make out where we're going to want to put any windows. So what I would like to do is fill in. Actually, we could fit a window in under the stairs that we want to use. We could use under the stairs as storage space, I think. But I don't know if I really want to do that. So we're not going to have a lot of space for fitting windows in over this side of the wall, are we? So the question is, do we want to put a single wide window or do we want to put a double window? Do you know what? I think I want to put in a single window because that would keep me consistent with the rest of the building, wouldn't it? So we're going to want sandstone top and bottom for lintels and we're going to want the plain glass in there for the window itself. Then inside we can bring our wall across here and we can use this space under here as storage space. So we would actually want a, a door for the staff into this space here if we want to use this as storage space and we want the wall to come all the way across here. And we also want access down here for the staff as well so we want a door here so we're going to have two doors one at each side of the room and then the rest of this can be filled in all the way across so we've got a back wall and we can use this maybe for decoration or for putting out the stock or even for a till area for the staff I have to think about that one all the way across here like so so we now have access to where the second floor is going to be and over here we have to fit in 
our windows. So we want to go one more across the bottom here, like so. One more across the top, like so. And then we start putting in our windows. So every second one. So we have one for window, one for wall. And then right at the back I'm going to fill that in because I don't want the window right in the corner. Then going along the side we want to grab our glass pane and fill in all the window spaces. So when we build our next building along here we want to make sure that there's a gap between the buildings so that the windows can still let in the light. And use the red sandstone top and bottom to put in a little bit of detail and some sills for where the windows are. And that is the outside of the first floor for our beautiful little shop. So the next job is going to be to grab a different material. We're going to want a flooring. I'm going to use the birch planks for my flooring. And then what we want to do is we want to fill in the floor across here and of course behind here in the little gap here. If I can get in it, and I want to put in the birch planks here. And then all the way across the ground here. And then in here are two. Oh, actually, we, we're probably going to need to move one of those stairs because I forgot about the flooring. So the stairs go one block lower than they need to. There we go, beautiful. And then up here, we're going to want one more layer of stairs because we're going to want to put another layer in up here. Now this upstairs can be one of two things. It could be a stock room for the shop or it could be the living space for the owner of the shop depending on what you would like to do with the space up here. So that would depend for you which you would like to do. So round the edges here I'd like to use the cut sandstone and the chiselled sandstone. So what I'd like to do is use the cut sandstone on the corner, so three in the corner. So the corner and both sides of the corner. Corner, one block to either side of the corner. And then two blocks here and then all the way across where the top of where the window is with that one. And then swap to the chiseled sandstone and fill in the edges along the sides between those blocks. I think that will make a nice little bit of decorative detail at the point where the floors change. And behind this row is where your flooring will be for the upper storey. So I'm going to pop in and fill in those floors while I'm off camera. And we will go from there in the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. From Softkitty99, goodbye and happy gaming!